Well, good morning, everybody. How are you this morning? Yes. Is anybody ready to get a backpack? Yes. Is anybody ready for a hot dog? Yes. Does anybody want to play on the bounce houses? Yes. We, have, we have nobody who wants to play on the bounce houses, so we can just go ahead and take those down, everybody. Yes. Oh, wait, wait. You, you do want to play on the bounce houses? Yes. Oh, all right, all right. Leave, leave the bounce houses. It'll be all right. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Devin. I'm the pastor from our Howell campus. Uh, as Pastor Sarah said, I'm here today with you all, and uh, Pastor Dan, her husband, is over there speaking to our congregation. I'm excited to be here with you, and uh, I want to talk to you for just a few moments before we give these backpacks away, but you guys have been sitting for a few moments. I want everybody to stand up real quick. Just stand up. All right. All right. Now, I want you to... I want you to jump up and down five times. Ready? <laughs> now sit down. Beautiful. Great. That way we just get a little bit of energy out so that I can talk to you for just a moment. Now, in order to share what I want to share with you today, I need a very special volunteer. Is there anybody here who would like to be my volunteer? I need somebody who is strong. I need somebody who is brave. I need somebody who is not afraid of snakes. I'm just, I'm just joking. There are, there are no snakes. How about you, sir, in the Spider-Man shirt? Right there. You look like you'd be a great volunteer. <clears throat> yeah, give him a hand. All right, come, Philip. Watch that stare. Stand right up here. Turn around. Now, tell me, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew? And how old are you? Seven. He's 75, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you... <laughs> Don't you hope that you look that good at 75? You're a little short for 75, though. Just, just saying. And, uh, and Matthew, here's what we're going to do. I want to give you an opportunity to walk away with $5. Does that sound all right? Could you, could you use $5? Now, this is my lunch money, so um, I just want you to know this is hard for me to do. But take a look at it first. Make sure it's real money. Go ahead, look at it. Is that, are those real dollar bills? Okay, good. Now give them back. Uh, <clears throat> here's what we're going to do, Matthew. I want you to stand right about... Uh, uh, no, back over here. Back over here. <laughs> right there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to toss these dollar bills at you, okay? If you catch the dollar bills, you get to keep them. If you don't catch the dollar bills, I get to keep them. Okay? Sounds simple enough? All right, now, we've established the uh, ground rules. We've established that it's real money. There's just one more thing, okay? Before I toss these bills to you to catch, I'm going to give you all of this baggage to hold on to, okay? And you can't <laughs> drop any of the bags while trying to catch the dollar bills. Otherwise, you lose. <laughs> it's kind of a rigged game, isn't it? All right, anyway, so... I'm going to give you some of this baggage right here. I just want you to hold on to these things, okay? Put your, yeah, there you go. Yeah, just put your arm out right there like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's, a, here's a, another one. We got lots of, uh, lots of totes going on today. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That one, that one here. You know what? This one will look good, right? Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Oh, you like pink? No? Well... Too bad. Pink for you today, my friend. <laughs> Looks fantastic. All right. Uh, here's, a, here's a good one. Yeah. Oh, this one's a little heavy, though. You know? Feel that? Yeah. You got, you got that? He's got, mus He's got muscles, ladies and gentlemen. Muscles. All right. Here. We got some more of these. Uh, this one. There you go. Just put that right there on your <laughs> arm. This one. We'll just stick right there. <laughs> This is, this is my bag for a weekend on the town. Just, you know, so, yeah. Ooh, this is one of my favorite bags. This one is the one I wear when I pretend I'm a superhero, which is like every day because I'm a superhero. So in case you didn't know that, we're going to hold that one right there. Ah, yeah. Oh, here. There's a good, this one's little. It's just a little bag. We'll just set it right here. And uh, there you go. Right, you're gonna, there you go, like a tree, Matthew, like a tree. <coughs> All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, this one. You could hurt somebody with this bag. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. That's a, that's a nice bag right here. Okay. You doing all right there, Matthew? Yeah. Good, good. That's a, this one's sparkly. You like sparkly? Yeah, me too. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now, now I want you to hold this one right here. Okay. Yeah, just turn just like that. Perfect. And there you go. Now, get a nice tight grip. Now, remember, you can't let go or drop any of any of the bags in order to catch the money, okay? Are you ready? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Now, hold, hold on here, M Matthew, Matthew, kind of, I'm not sure you understand the point of this game, okay? You're supposed to catch the bills, remember? Why, why didn't you catch the bills? You don't know. Are you having a little trouble with all of this stuff all over you, catching the, the money? You are. That's a problem, isn't it? You, wait, wait right there, okay? Don't, don't go anywhere. Are you, are you good? Should we get you a chair? Good, because I don't, I don't have a chair for you anyway. But you see, ladies and gentlemen, our lives are a lot like this. We try and carry all of this baggage through our lives that we are not supposed to carry. And it causes us to miss out on things that are good that God wants to put into our lives. Because you know, we have a God who loves us, who cares about us, and he wants to give good things to us. Just like I want to give these bills to Matthew, even though this is my lunch money and I'll starve all week long. <laughs> As a result, I want to give him these bills. Well, God has things that he wants to give to us too. But if we are walking through life carrying all of this stuff, we can't grab a hold of the good things that God wants to give us. So we have a problem, but God has a solution. He says this in 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7. It says, give all your worries and all your cares to God because he cares about you. See, we don't have to carry this baggage. We can give it up. We can get rid of it. We can give it to him and be free so that we can then receive. Hey, don't let go. I saw that. So that we can receive the good things that he has for us. Now, Matthew, would you like somebody to come and take all this baggage away so that you can receive these dollar bills? All right, I have a volunteer already. Where, where'd he go? Here he is, he's coming. He's gonna, he's gonna help you get rid of all of this baggage real quick. All right? Good job. Some of it gets on there tight. Some of it we hold on to really tight. We don't want to let go because we get comfortable with our bags. But you know what? A long time ago, God sent his son into the world to take our punishment to die in our place for all of the things that we've ever thought that were wrong, all of the things that we've ever done that were bad. He took that punishment. He got rid of that baggage so that you and I could be free to receive the good things, the love, the joy, the acceptance, the peace that he has for us, that he wants to give to us because he loves us. Now, Matthew... Come here, buddy. Are you ready? You can go sit down. My friends, this is what it's like. This is what it's like when we come to God and we exchange all of the baggage that we're carrying for the good things 
that he wants to give to us. But we have to make the decision. We can choose to hold on to this stuff. We can choose to try and get through life on our own, carrying it all around, and we're just going to knock people around with it. And we're going to trip over it. We're going to fall down. We're going to miss out on things that God doesn't want us to miss out on because he loves us. He cares about us. He knows us, and he wants a relationship with us. He has good things that he wants to give to you today. Just like these backpacks are free and they're full of school supplies that parents are gonna save you hopefully a little bit of money and boys and girls are gonna help you get your schoolwork done, God has good things that he wants to give to us too. And not just once, but every day of our lives. Things that will change our lives if we'll let him. Would you all bow your heads for just a moment and close your eyes? Today, we're excited to offer you not one free gift, but two. We're gonna give those of you that signed up today and are registered for a backpack, a backpack filled with school supplies. But beyond that, we're here to offer you a gift that'll last every day of your life and even beyond. A gift of eternal life that comes from knowing God, from exchanging the baggage that you may be carrying in your life, the worry, the fear, the anger, the regret, whatever it may be, with a relationship with Jesus Christ. And so right now, if you're here today and you say, you know what, I need more than just a backpack. I need to let go of some things in my life and I need God to help me get rid of the junk get rid of the garbage so that I can receive the good things he has for me. If you're ready to start that relationship today, then I want you to do me a favor. I want you to raise your hand right now and say, that's me. I want to know that God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I see those hands. Thank you around the back. Thank you. Here's what we're going to do, my friends. We're going to pray a prayer and I'm going to ask everybody in this building to pray this prayer along with me. And as we do, you're going to make the exchange today and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you're going to start a brand new journey. Would you, boys and girls, would you join me in this? Would you close your eyes and bow your heads? And say this with me, everyone. Say, Dear Heavenly Father, Dear Heavenly Father thank, you for Jesus thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for me, cross for me. to shed his blood for me. Blood for me. I believe he is the Son of God. And right now, I ask you, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Help me to live for you every day of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, look up here with me real quick. First of all, I want to say congratulations to those of you that just prayed this prayer with me. You just made the most important decision you can ever make in your entire lives.